first and foremost, we're here to serve. I think you've noticed a change in our customer service and the way we're approaching customer service, and we're going to continue to do that and we're going to get better. Our vision is to be the very best HR program in government. And HR redesign will give us an opportunity to do that because we're going to put the necessary HR professionals back out in the field. And that's really where they need to be if we're going to be most effective. We're going to have a human resources officer in each region. We will have one for research. We will have one for ASC, the WO, and Job Corps. And that team will provide staffing, classification, employee relations, and labor relations to the field. And then we also have the centralized services that will remain here in Albuquerque. The number of applications the Forest Service receives in a year, um, estimated at one million come through the Forest Service. We use a lot of automated tools to assist our managers in actually handling these cases. And we have to have mechanisms in place to ensure that we have the necessary diversity. So we have diversity in, in terms of opinions in terms of ideas and all those kinds of things and a part of that is to bring in new talent talent that's just coming out of college for example supervisors with the forest service um, have a lot of um, hiring authorities that they can use for students including the student uh, career experience program the student temporary employment program uh, presidential management fellows program as well as the career intern program and then we also use certain initiatives including the uh, haku um, initiative, the uh, WINGS initiative, and a multitude of others that are targeted for veterans and uh, people with disability hiring. As a classification intern, I've been able to work with supervisors to help them put together position descriptions so that they can hire um, new employees to help them do their jobs out in the forest. Well, I never realized prior to being a SCEP how important human resources is to any organization, but being a staffer particularly has helped me understand how customer service relates to not only my coworkers here at HRM, but also to everybody out in the field. The importance of HR, uh, what I've learned is that it's a uh, crucial element in any organization. It's the backbone. The benefits department handles about a thousand employees a day approximately. Sometimes it varies depending on the time of the year. Once the employee gets hired and they send us their paperwork, depending on the type of benefit form, they generally start at the beginning of the pay period after we receive the form. We are here to help our employees. We're here to make sure that they get their benefits timely. We make sure that everything's in place and we, everything's in order. We want to make sure that their beneficiary forms are correct and complete so that if anything in the future was to happen, that their families are taken care of. That's our purpose. Types of training that are available to Forest Service employees can take place in the classroom, in some kind of lab, um, out in the field, or in our online learning management system, which is AgLearn. If they're interested in individual training, they can just log into AgLearn, and there are hundreds and hundreds of courses there that will help them improve their job skills. We tailor these materials specifically to Forest Service employees. So we know what kind of time they have, we know what kind of uh, processes we use here in this agency, and so <clears throat> we try to keep them short and sweet and straight to the point. Safety is a core value in Forest Service, and it's something we take very seriously. And as a director, I really make it a point to ensure that all of our employees are safe and talk to them about their role in safety. Here at ASC and HR, we're definitely making sure that we follow through on that because having a safe workplace is very important to an overall environment that an employee has to work in. Your colleagues here are dedicated, they're hardworking, and they're going to get it done. You know, we have that same philosophy that all of you across Forest Service have. We get it done, and we will continue to make sure that happens. We've asked the questions, we've listened to your responses, and now we're ready to act on those responses, and I think you'll see a big difference in the way we do that.